as the 2015 homecoming queen is Miss Madison Tyler. It was standing room only at the game and a standing ovation for Madison Tyre after she won Jeff Davis High School's homecoming queen. Even people from the other team was crying and they were clapping for him. And they weren't the only ones. Just to see her reaction and to see how honored she was and excited, it just, I cried and cried because I was so happy for her. So what you might say, why do we care about one high school's homecoming queen? Because Madison's school cares so much about her. I wasn't focused on me winning. I was more focused on making sure she had the opportunity to win. And since she won, it was a win in my heart. Madison is in the band, gets good grades, very popular. Oh yeah, and she happens to be blind and suffering from cerebral palsy. But this was no pity vote. If you're having a bad day and you see her, she turns into a good day because she encourages you. She sends out a love that no one else can send out to you. She just brightens your day. You just saw her name on the list and knew she deserved it. And then you just circled it and then everybody felt that way, so and she deserved to be homecoming queen. Whenever he said selected by the student body to be Jeff Davis homecoming queen is, and, and, then I, and then I held my breath and then he's like, Miss Madison Tyron, I'm like, yay! I was excited, I was bursting out crying. I was like, thank you so much. Even a day later, this was still sinking in for Madison. I was sitting on the couch and I ran my hand over the crown and I'm like, oh my goodness, I, I picked it up and I'm like, oh my goodness, I can't believe it's mine. A school coming together to make a memory for her and for themselves. What do you think about all those students that wanted to make you help? All I can say is bless their hearts. <laughs> oh. And again, all I can say to them is thank you. In Jeff Davis County, Andrew Davis, WSAB News 3. And News 3's Andrew Davis is out with deputies again tonight as they receive your information. That's right. We're not going to let the rain stop us from going out and catching fugitives today. I have four deputies, so I turn this around to show you from the Chatham County Sheriff's Office right now. We're going to go find out some of these folks out here who have warrants against them and also a lot of our fugitive filed suspects that we've profiled previously and now end up with the fact that they now have warrants against them and we've gotten tips from you in the past to try to find them we're going to hunt those guys down too already we're having success out here deputies are in this home behind me right now they have gotten one of the warrant suspects that they were looking for so far remember you can call and help us get even more so far we're going to have more for you on this suspect exactly what's going on but call 644-6852 the guy behind me is wanted. He's also been here for a long time. They say this was a good pickup for us. The knocks on the door aren't coming from salesmen. They're officers of the court trying to track down child support violators. If you pay your child support as ordered by a superior court judge, you and I are not going to have any problems. But there are a lot of problems when it comes to child support in Chatham County. Last year alone, there were 4,232 contempt actions, 809 child support orders. In all, the DA's office collected more than $30 million in 2014 alone. But that's only 65% of what is actually owed by these deadbeat parents. If you decide to have a child, you should accept the responsibility to raise that child. To protect the area's children, Chatham County District Attorney Meg Heap has two full-time attorneys on the job working nonstop. It's the kids. I mean, that at the end of the day who suffers, you know, they don't have food, they don't have clothes, they need a place to sleep. And a lot of them we see are, are, are children that live below the poverty line, uh, you know, and that's the worst thing in the world. But Heap says for many people, the children don't matter as much as the money. Many times we find out they're doing jobs under the table and they, they do it many times so they don't have to pay child support. Many times they will abscond. They will go other places. I mean, they've had to, child support's had to track them other states. You guys don't want to put anybody in jail. If you no, no. I mean, it, because the, look at the cycle. You're not paying, so we put you in jail, which means you're not working, which means you're not paying, which means the child gets some money. And that's where Chief Investigator Robert Edenfield and his officers come in. A judge signs a contempt order and they head out to pick up one of the seemingly unending list 
of absent parents. Unfortunately, most of these guys know the system too well and they know how to avoid getting their name out there. Addresses that may or may not be right. He used that address again recently is why we're back checking it out. Uh-uh, no, no, no. They've been going almost a year. And offenders who hide just to avoid going to jail. Jerron, it's Edenfield. I need you to come to the door. Child support is a civil warrant, not criminal. That means if officers don't see the suspect or folks don't open the door, they can't go in to get them. Oh, you know we do. 510 arrest warrants, 411 arrests last year alone by a department of only three investigators. But this battle is never ending. 250 more warrants are still pending. 30 something out, out of state. We got probably another 40 to 60 around the state. And most of them are in the area. You know, so they're under different names or you know, not, not using their social, so we can't get a tag on that. One of the biggest excuses we get when we're picking up, well, I was trying to find a job. And I was, in fact, I had an interview today. Okay, well, why are you in the back of my car? Well, why weren't you at that interview? <laughs> on this day, a lot of knocks, very few answers. Let's speak with Mr. Albright. Who? Mr. Albright. Lewis! The last one of the day, though, leads to an arrest, a step in the right direction. My attitude is I'm going to get you another day. And I said, attitude we have, eventually you're going to get arrested. 